Welcome back to the channel. I'm Coach Evans, host of the Telefilm, and today we're going to talk a little bit about Lamar versus Greg Roman. There are conspiracy theories floating around saying that Roman is holding Lamar back, you know, trying to keep his contract negotiations down and is generally trying to do stuff to squeeze him so we won't have to pay him the money that he deserves. I personally don't believe that, but there is evidence that the play calling is totally different when Lamar's in the game versus when Tyler Huntley and more recently Josh Johnson's in the game. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you on three different levels, uh, three different ways rather, how the play calling is different when Lamar's in versus Tyler Huntley and again more recently Josh Johnson. Uh, welcome back to the channel. If you like this content, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And uh, let's get started. <laughs> Had to add this disclaimer right here. In the um, video that you're about to see, I misspoke. I said that it was Snoop Start versus the Bears. This information comes from Snoop Start versus the Packers, not the Bears. And I'm probably going to say the Bears a couple times. Just know I meant Snoop Start versus the Packers, not the Bears. So the first way we're going to do this is I charted some plays. And, you know, to give you the preference, what I'm about to show you, I charted Huntley's start versus, I think it was the Bears, versus Lamar's last start versus the Browns. And so I got Huntley's first drive, and then I got the first three drives up until Lamar got hurt versus the Browns. And you'll see the difference in play calls, you know, and we I just talked you through what I got charted. So let, let's dive right into that. All right, the red line is where it splits. So anything above the red line is um, Lamar's game versus, I'm sorry, it's, it's Huntley's game, first drive versus the Bears. And then below the red line is Lamar's drives. And I'll scroll up so we can see more of it. But um, just looking at it, the, the thing is, ball out quick, the quick game. And that's that's the main thing. So if you see here, the first play was a run. Split, split zone, we run that a lot. Uh, second play was another run. I'm sorry, second play was a play action boot which is some of the times he kind of give that to Lamar, but it was a uh, after split zone action. So they ran, they faked the inside zone and booted it out. And um, let me see, what was the result of that? We got three yards, three yards to Hollywood. So I remember that play, they, they kind of put Hollywood in motion and ran him behind the line of scrimmage and we faked the inside zone and threw it to Hollywood and flex. So that's still a, the ball's out quick because he threw it to the flex. And it probably was an RPO. I just didn't put that in there, but it probably was an RPO. The next play, passing game, two-man snag. And and snag is one of the concepts I raved about a couple weeks ago. And in this case, we didn't do the three-man snag. We did the two-man snag. And so you had a guy running to the flats, and you you kind of read the flat defender. The flat defender, if he take off into the flats, whoever's running the little slant stop or the little short curl or the snag, as soon as that guy that's chasing the flat route get past him, you show the quarterback your numbers. That requires no drop back. You just set your feet and throw the ball. So that's the ball out quick. That's what we were clamoring about for Lamar, but he's doing it. He did it here with Huntley. And keep in mind, I don't think Ricard was available for this game either. So that's, that's again, Lamar being out and Ricard being out is two main things why I think the play caller may have changed if the conspiracy theory, theorists are wrong. If they write, they, Roman did it because he didn't want Lamar to get a big contract, which really he ain't got nothing to do with that. He's not in the front office. But, again, play four. They was in two-by-two two set. They ran inside zone left. You see three the first three of the first four plays got some kind of inside zone type feel to it. Um, play five, got a false start on. I think that probably was um, 74. Play six, trips left. Uh, the X came in motion, which is uh, X rip, and quick game, he had a snag again. Same concept that, that early in the game. That it was out of empty. Same concept, the snag. Uh, the second play, quick game again. Ran a speed out to, I want to say Bateman maybe. Ran a little speed out to Bateman or Hollywood. Somebody up there. It's in the results, but I had to blow this up so you could see it. Play three. I mean, I'm sorry, play three. Play eight. Heavy, empty, right. And heavy, empty, right, you had three tight ends, but you still went heavy. You still went heavy. And we ran the ball around QB power. This was fourth and one. I remember that. We ran um, uh, motioned out Devontae or Murray and ran quarterback power. We had three tight ends on that one. All right, now you go wing right. 
with your 11 personnel and your tight end being the wing. And you ran X belly, which was, uh, I think, Bateman, not Bateman, Duvernay came in motion right behind the quarterback and ended up going back, and we ran the deep crosses. And this is the play where we ran into each other. This is the kind of play plays Lamar gets. This is the play where I can't remember the two receivers, but they ran deep overs and ended up running into each other. So, again, next one, the empty right Y. Then you got uh, two tight ends. So, Mark was split out, and then you probably had Tomlinson in as a tight end on the right side. Roll out right, fade out. So, this is not the same play as the two, failed two-point conversion, but it's similar because you had Mark in the slot, and you had, I think, Hollywood out wide right, and they ran – Andrews ran the quick out. Hollywood ran, like, the over-the-top go clear out route. And he threw the ball to Andrews. He got a first down, which maybe led to why they thought they could get that later on in the game, even though the formation was totally different. Um, play 12. You had jet motion by Duvernay. You had one back power. So you, you kind of faked the, the the jet sweep, and you ran power with uh, you ran it back. I think I want to say it's Devontae. Uh, trips left nub. So you had trips to the left side of the field, and you had a tight end in the line of scrimmage, like with the O-line. Then you had your overs, and it's the type of stuff that he run with Lamar. It's deep stuff where it's it's you gotta you gotta hold the ball and wait on guys to get over. You had three overs because the nub guy stayed in and blocked. So you had three guys that had to get across the field from left to right to even give him a chance to get the ball out. And I think this is the ball he may have overthrown Hollywood. He may have overthrown or not overthrown. He threw the ball behind Hollywood because Hollywood did leave his guy, but still that's. You ain't really got to give the man a, an, a quick option. He had to wait till Hollywood come from all the way from left to right and try to outrun somebody with our O-line. Uh, play 14, trips left with a wide tight, and you had a um, follow. So you had three receivers to the left, and the two two inside receivers were kind of stacked upon each other. One, the number two receiver ran a little drag right now. The number three had to let the drag pass, go underneath it, go up, then come back. And it just take too long. You had goal line situation. It took too long. So it was incomplete. And then fourth down, empty right, quick passing game, which it, it, it was wide option. You can see Huntley looking at Lamar, I mean, looking at um, Andrews the whole time. And Andrews had the option to either go left, right, or hitch. And he got pressure too quick because Andrews didn't get open fast enough and it ended up being a sack. And that was a fourth and two. But the thing I want you to take away from it is look at the different quick games. You got, let me go to my, what I need. Quick games. Oops. What happened? Quick game for hunting. One, two, one, two, three, four. This would have been a quick game, even though it wasn't successful because of the goal line. Quick, that's quick stuff. All right, so out of 15 plays, he had four quick games. Four passes where he catch the ball, no real drop, just set his feet and throw it. Read one guy. If X do this, I go here. That's that's what the quick game is. And I mean X meaning whoever the, the read guy is, not the X receiver. So now, now let's bump down to Lamar. Let's bump down to Lamar. So we got two, three drives with Lamar versus DeBron. This is his last start. Play action boot. First play. And all you got is curls as a concept. So curls are anywhere from 12 to 15 yards. As we play action that you run curls, that takes a while. So he got to play action. Then he got to drop back. Keep in mind, this whole time, think about our tackles. All right, second play. So RPO. They RPO'd off a counter. Let's see my notes. So they RPO. Oh, I know what this was. They put a guy in motion. They ran counter to the right. And ran Mark in the flats left with two blockers over there. And he ended up giving the counter off. So the RPO was fine. Uh, quick game. He do have a quick game. But it was hitches. It was spacing. So the, it was two by two. And basically everybody ran hitches for the most part. They were tight. It was a tight condensed formation. The outside receivers ran like outside then hitched up. And the inside receivers basically ran, you know, straight up hitches. And that was the list spacing concept. So that's, that's one for Lamar. Um, next play is a run is jet motion right uh, power read they ran power read with the quarterback and this is the play that uh, number 55 for the Bengals smashed in the mouth because we everybody in the mama knew it was coming 
So again, in this first set of series, you had one quick game. One. One. And no tempo. Ain't no tempo in this game either. No tempo. So it was some tempo in that, that Huntley stuff. There was no tempo here. So now we get the ball back with our second formation, with our second drive. First in the Browns. You got 21 personnel. So you got two tight ends to the right. And you got two receivers to the left. Um, you motion, which means that the, the second tight end off the ball went in motion to the left, and they ran flood. Floods are, normally floods are roll out, but they didn't roll them out because they they normally don't roll out quarterbacks to the left because of them being right-handed quarterbacks. So here's a straight drop back. You had a flat route. You had like a 10-yard out, and you had a deep ball. But on this play, Hollywood has the, the deep, the 10-yard out, but he gets so caught up in traffic and so get – gets bumped up so hard that he don't even get the chance to get back out. So that's another not quick game pass. I mean, not quick game concept. Uh, next play, you got ace. So you got two tight ends on each side, uh, curl flat. They use the um, tight ends to help chip the ends, Clowney and um, what's that guy, Miles Garrett. Then they ran flat routes. And then your outside guys ran curls. So that's a straight drop back. So that's not ball out quick. And keep in mind, it's going to be delayed or even Delayed even longer because instead of the tight ends running the flat routes now, they're blocking first, then going into flats. So that's long before Lamar got to hold the ball. And you go down, you got a draw for third down. Come back again, you got a wing right, run. Uh, they fake bubble and we ran counter, which I think that was pretty successful. We got five yards on it. Uh, the next play was a play action. Curl flats again. Still drop back. You got a play action. Then you got to take the three-step drop. Nothing quick on that. Then next play, you got the uh, Y right, and this is the play he got hurt on. So he fake, they bounce bounce motion man, the, the running back going out to the right and making it look like a screen. So if anybody goes with that running back, you kind of come back to whatever your opposite play is, and that's what they did. And they threw the screen to Andrews. They called 74 for illegal man downfield, which is, you know, I found out was the right call. I didn't think it was the right call at the time, but they declined it. And this is the play Lamar got hurt on. But again, in these one, two, it's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten plays. There was one quick game. One quick game, and and I'm gonna count the dropbacks the same as the, the play action drops. You got one, two, three, four. And you have four of those. So you tell me like why the play calling is not the same with your dynamic, more accurate guy than it is with your backups. And you had tempo at first. This is phase one. So I really want to show you uh, a, a couple examples of the snag concept that we use with Huntley, but I haven't seen used with Lamar. And I probably could go back and maybe find a couple of instances, but it was clear that this snag concept was one of the was in the plan for Huntley, but it's not it's rarely in the plan for Lamar. And it's really it's one of those ball out quick things that we've been clamoring for. And so what's gonna happen is. And, and they're not going to get the ball. Andrew's going to get the ball on a long run right here. But this is whoever's guarding him is the key. He's going to run his little flat route. And whoever attempts to buzz that flat route, he's going to sit right behind him. And it's a quick, like, five to seven-yard gain. And if you make somebody miss, could potentially get a first down. And that's, like, and he he's going to take, a look like, a rocker step and get rid of the ball. He's not going to be sitting back there holding it, patting it, waiting for this long route to come open way down the field down here or some curl route or, or some something like that. It's going to be quick. He's going to have a read right here. And this one, he just happened to come to Mark Andrews probably because he wanted to hit Mark anyway. But the concept is right here is what I'm talking about. This is a snag concept. You see Murray going to the flats? So this is the read guy. When he buzzes that flat route, I think this is Bateman going to sit right behind him and show his number. And that's where he's looking at. Look where his eyes is right now. He's going to take this rocker step. And now, now he's ready to throw. No real drop back. He's ready to throw right now. He just comes off of it quick because obviously look how open Mark is. But if I let it play a little bit, you see Bateman will be right there too. And will be at the sticks for a first down. That's, it's simple. It's easy. It's it's. It's easy. You just what and when I was saying, and I said earlier, I say if X do this, you that. This is the X I'm talking about. If X with a buzz up under there, you throw the flat route, let him turn up. X buzz out there, you throw the little hitch right behind it. But luckily, they had this, you know, right here, and he's wide open. All 
All right, here it is again. Same concept. We're gonna bring Bateman in motion. If I can, gonna bring Bateman in motion, kind of clear him out. Uh, Andrews gonna go to flats. Guy, maybe the same guy, gonna buzz on Andrews. Hollywood gonna sit right behind him for like a five yard gain. This first down. So now that puts you in second and seven. Simple concept. And let's watch Huntley's footwork. He gonna take that one rocker step. He gonna be ready to throw. Bring that guy in motion. So now this, this guy's a read now. Bring that guy in motion. He buzzes. This guy buzzes with the flat route. You sit right, you show your numbers right behind it. Easy first down. I mean, not first down. Easy five yards. So now you're looking at second and five or second and six. And depending on how deep he run this, that's where you can kind of get your, your different yardage at. But again, that's a, now you're looking at second and six. You're still, ahead of, you're still ahead of the sticks. The quarterback ain't have to drop back. And, and Tyree does a horrible job. But because it's catch and throw, it don't matter. Tyree did a, a horrible job. But because it's catch and throw, the, this potential sack is not there. And he's wide open too. Wide open. Simple. Simple. But the thing is, now there is a way to defend these things. There is a way. You just you, you Everybody come up and you play man, but then you have the threat of this guy running past people. And uh, you could have seen that in the game yesterday. Uh, Johnson was hitting some short stuff, short stuff, short stuff. And then, you know, I said on the live stream, I think now they're primed for a double move. And Hollywood ran a double move. We just didn't connect it. But until, if they're going to sit back and play this umbrella type coverage, you can do stuff like this. And you can dress it up all kind of ways. You can dress this concept up a whole bunch of ways. And you can add the third man. So if you add the third man to it, let me, let me back up. So let's say the plays ran from like this. If you, run, if you add the third man, then he's going to have a corner. He'll have the snag. And he'll have the flats. And so if they do decide to play man, now this guy is a threat running this corner route. So it, it's ways to dress it up. It just needs to be called more. And they got all day to do football, so they can dress it up a number of different ways. All right, now let's look at some of the, the past plays in Lamar's um, last start. You're going to get a roll out here with curls. And, I, and obviously he he's, you know, naked, no real threat, but... I mean, Hollywood's covered, 26 is covered. You got Andrews trying to work over the top. Luckily, the guy that's in front of Hollywood kind of uncovers it. And he's able to fit it in there. So he's, he still threw it across his body. That's a quarterback no-no. Watch this. He rolling right and going to really throw left. Well, he, he threw it straight ahead. I'm sorry. I misspoke. He threw it straight ahead. But again, this ain't, this ain't a great, you know, concept you run the curls with a rollout all right now let's look at this play this is the spacing concept i spoke of um so and i and i was i kind of described it wrong so what's gonna happen is the two outside receivers gonna work like round the hashes and the tight end is gonna work outside of it that's what's gonna happen and andrew's gonna kind of run a rail route so i don't know where he's really going but this is the one in this these three series that I showed you or talked about earlier. This is the one quick game option Lamar had. He got the lit he got the he's supposed to be a rocker step, but he took two steps and he's he's ready to throw now. This is the one time that in those three drives that he had a quick game option. And again, you got this guy in the flats right here. You got Hollywood that's potentially open and I don't know what Andrews is doing, but that's that's where he's looking. But everybody else is potentially ready to receive the ball right now. Uh Bateman right here, Hollywood right here, uh, Thomason right here. Everybody's ready to receive the ball, and this is the one quick game option that Lamar had that game. All right, now watch this flood concept. This is the play I talked about where Hollywood just – Hollywood's the main guy in this. He's going to run a 10-yard out. He's going to get inside this guy and try to break out right around the first down marker. But he's going to get jammed up and boxed around that it's too late. It's too late. He's taking too long. Andrew's going to come in motion and run the flat route. So this is a straight drop back. Got a three-step drop out of the gun. And now there's a void. There's a void. And I can't draw on this screen right here, but there's a void behind 22. You see 22 and Andrew's right here. That's going to be a huge void out here because Bateman is doing what he's supposed to do. Mandatory outside release. 43 got to you know, react and run with that. 
And so there's a huge void right here where Hollywood should be getting to right now. But because he allows this dude to jam him up and he's taking forever, because Lamar's ready to throw. But by now it's too late. Because now look at the void. If, if Hollywood is here a half a second earlier, he gets this ball. He gets this ball in his open spot for a first down. But because he got boxed in with these guys and didn't really have an uh -uh to get in and out that route, Devontae gets blowed up. And so the very next play, still no, no quick game option. Watch this. Two tight ends, two receivers. You got a straight drop back, straight three-step drop, and the tight end, I mean, the tackle's getting beat already. So there's no quick option for him to release. Nobody's even looking for the ball right now. So he has no option to throw it. Nobody. You got a deep route right here at both receivers. Andrews had the chip first. Now he's going to the flats. So he just get, he comes to Andrews late because there's no quick option early. Andrews gets nothing out of it. That's the type of stuff Lamar gets. Nothing. He has that one quick game option, but everything else been let me drop back three to five steps and, and hope for this deep shot. All right, and, and the last level of, of evidence that uh, the play calling is totally different, I'm just going to show you in steel pictures. I uh, got a few plays from a, a old older 49ers playbook. And the plays may not be the same terminology, but they're kind of the same concepts. And um, just gonna just gonna show it to you. Just gonna show it to you. Let's get into it. So on this first play, this is like the stick concept that I spoke of. You know, my rant last week, and it's not the same one as the snag, but this still is a ball out quick concept that that they've ran. You know, recently. And so you got three guys. You got this little. You know, this guy's a a comeback, not a comeback. A little quick out or a hitch. And it's normally not 10 yards. It's normally right here at five. And this guy flat routes. And so what you'll do is it'll be a guy right here and you put him in conflict. You put him in conflict. If he buzzes on the flat route, you throw the little hitch or the little out right behind him. Or if he sets under the, the hitch, you throw the flat route. And you really just concept that guy because the outside guy would have to run mandatory outside release to run the guy off. And there's really no drop back. Just gather your feet, get rid of it. It's that simple. But Lamar don't see a lot of these. Gather your feet and get rid of it. And keep in mind, if you do this with our 11 personnel, that's Andrews getting the ball right there. That's probably going to make some, could make somebody miss, get up the field. Then you could do Duvernay on a flat route. You could do Prochet on a flat route. Then you got Hollywood getting over the top. And then you sing abatement over here. And if you get a one-on-one, -on -one, you know, you got choices over here. And if you see right here, you got a choice. Uh, the main one is like a little in, a deep curl. The other one, the part two is a, a post. And then you can also see the, the reads in this too. 1A is right here. So 1A would be that conflict guy. Number two would be this backside choice route. And then number three is your check down right here in the middle of the field, which would be one of your running backs. All right, another way to run a similar play. You motion your, your running back out the backfield, and now you're sitting in empty. You're looking at an empty right situation. And you got the same concept over here on this right side that I just spoke of. On the left side, now you have a slant, which they call looky, and you got to go. You got to go. But the, the reads change now. The reads change. Now you see number one is this slant. And so this, and this is probably pre-snap. You look over here and this guy got, got outside leverage, you throw this slant. If he got inside leverage, you see the adjustment to he's going to run a whip route. But this will be number one. Then number two, you come over here with your with your stick concept. Again, you got your flat and you got your little out. And you conflict in this guy right here where it said that where the 2A is, that's the guy you would conflict. If he buzzes out there, you throw the little uh, hitch or out behind him. And if he sits up under that out, you throw the hitch. The, the key is this guy running this mandatory outside release. So with him going outside, that, that means the defender's going to turn his back to all this stuff that's going on. And that way they can, you know, got a chance to complete it. But if he goes inside, now the corner can see all this stuff and either take, he can take either one. But he, that's why he got to go outside. Now, this is a huge contrast as to what, because those first two things are the type of stuff that Huntley and Josh Johnson kind of got. This right here is the crap Lamar gets. You see how much difference this is? You know, look at all the, the ifs on here. Look at all the ifs on here. So, normally you start off with Ricard in, and Ricard's the if. He'll run a little flat route. You still have, you know, Andrews in here running 10 yard out, and you have a motion guy, and they'll do whatever, whatever, whatever. So, but the thing is, this is the type of play Lamar gets. So it's a straight drop back. So first off, you see the little play action with the Q and the H. That takes time. Then he got to sit up and drop back. 
If you see number one, number one is a, a same bender way up here. So if it's if it's one high, he run the same. If it's two high, he run the bender. That's not that's the first read. That's the first read. So he got to play action, drop back, and then wait on this. This this is what five ten. This is a fifteen to eighteen yard route. That's his number one. That's his number one. So now the number two is the guy he brought in motion running a, a, a little dig. And so he got to push out, push up, then run a dig. That's number two. That's at 15 yards. Well, all while, with, look at, keep, keep in mind what we got to tackle. Villain waiver, Tyree Phillips, or McCarvey. Then the three is the, the record in the flats or whoever the, H, uh, the F is in the flats. And the other three is to check down after the guy you faked out to. So you got your first read is not open, not an option to 15 to 20 yards down the field. Your second read is 15 yards down the field. Then you got to come down here. What kind of tackles do this man think we got? A half, rather. Let me, let me use my correct English. What kind of tackles do this man think we have? We got Tyree Phillips and Alejandro Villanueva. And we call him stuff like this for Lamar. What he's banking on is that we hopefully block this up and we get the shot, and if we don't block it up, Lamar can run. That's what he's banking on, and he shouldn't be. Treat that man as if he's not mobile. Let his feet be extra. And that's what we're not doing. You got those quick game passes for, hold on. You got those quick game passes for Huntley and Josh Johnson, because Josh Johnson did a great job yesterday of getting the ball out. Uh, that first drive, he was throwing slants, and he was throwing dimes on slants. But you don't see Lamar have none of those options. So now the question is just thrown up there. Is it, has he adjusted his play calling because Ricard's not in there? Or has he just not wanted to call that stuff and he's part of the conspiracy people saying that they're trying to sabotage this contract? I personally think, and this is my two cents, and you can put you know your comments down in the comment section. I think when the Ricard went out, Roman was finally forced to adjust. He was forced to adjust because you didn't have recording that to be a thumper and then it just so happened that Lamar got hurt in that same time so now he added tempo added tempo versus the Packers added even more tempo versus uh the Bengals yesterday added the quick game stuff a lot more quick game stuff like unlike the play you just saw you didn't see a lot of that during the game unless it was third and long but the quick game stuff kept us out a lot of third and longs the penalties is what kept us you know what hurt our drives whether it be holding, false start, or ineligible downfield, that's what killed a lot of our drives. It wasn't a lack of execution because Johnson threw for 300 yards. Huntley threw for, uh, I don't remember how many threw versus the Packers, but he had a decent game. So the thing is, is I think the key was record. Record not being on the field. And one of my one of my callers on my show, he always he always been clamoring from the beginning of the season, keep record off the field, keep record off the field. When Ricard's off the field, we move the ball. And the evidence is starting to be here now. Even though we, what, what are we, 8-7? and seven, We 15 games in? The evidence is there. Ricard needs to be off. The tempo needs to be up. Quick game needs to be in there. And when they come up to defend a quick game, try to hit them over the top. That's the formula. Offensively, that's the formula. Defensively, the walking wounded over there. And so it's, it's, it's the walking wounded. But again, I don't think it's a conspiracy theory to keep Lamar from getting this huge contract that he deserved. I think Roman was finally, finally, like, put in a situation where I got to adjust to even give us a chance to win. But he hasn't had Lamar there since he decided to adjust. So whether Lamar plays the rest of this season, which I doubt, it remains to be seen what Roman's going to do with this this offense. Uh, hopefully he, he keeps the tempo, he keeps the quick game, and then throw some shots in there when they decide to play man because you got Aaron Donald, you got Von Miller left, and you got T.J. White again, who pretty much one man wrecked us by himself. So um, hopefully, you know, some stuff from this video will translate into Sunday's game and the week after that, whether it be Huntley, whether it be Johnson, whether it be Lamar. Uh, this is my first, like, I don't want to say film study, but like research project, research project. And I think it came out pretty well. I like the information that I found. Charting the plays take a while, but I think the knowledge you get from charting plays is is priceless. So um, a salute to Abacara for you know providing me with some of the steel shots you you guys seen, and uh, salute to everybody else that 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 
mess with me, that follow me, and um, like, comment, subscribe. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. I know this is fairly lengthy. I'm out. With the, with the